Howdy ho, my crafty friends. This is Lori at the uh, Ladybug Journals, and this is video two in our little journal that we are creating uh, with the horse, um, with the horses. And if you haven't watched video one, I'm going to encourage you to go back and watch it. Um, you'll see where we covered our book and, um, and the paper that I used and um, how I made my um, how I made my spine here and um, how we got to this point so far and today we are going to punch the holes here we are going to add our spine insert and uh, cover the inside and hopefully get our signatures um, inserted and I am going to show you um, what I have been up to in preparation for today so that I could show you some fun stuff. Um, right now, my, um, fabric tac bottle that was running low is emptying into my other bottle. So while that's doing that, I am going to show you how I punch my signature. So let me get you up here. So what I did was, and the first thing you'll notice is on my spine piece, I added this piece of lace, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But I took my spine piece, and I laid it in place, and I just took a pencil and poked through the holes and marked them on the spine of the book. That's all there is to it. That's how you know where to punch your spine. So, um, on this, and I'm going to use a Crocodile 2 Big Bite. Um, it says right there too, and it's called a big bite because it has this great big long neck that allows you to get into places that the normal crocodile doesn't. Um, and I really, uh, enjoy this and I use it every time I make a, um, a book because, um, I can go through huge stacks of paper, easy peasy, but I can also punch through spines, um, of books really easy. And when I have to reinforce them, um, it's really easy. And, um, three, it's got two settings, uh, one eighth, three sixteenth. And then of course you can also, um, on the very front here, you can set it to just like the other one, you can set it to, uh, do the eyelets and, uh, it, this piece at the top just slides back and forth just like that. And, um, you just use your thumb. That's three sixteenths. And then the three sixteenths comes down in the back. And then you slide it up for uh, one eighth. And there's the one eighth. And then all the way up to the front, all the way up here to set your, to set your eyelets all the way up there. And this is my second one. I've used it so much. This is my second one. So we're going to move it back here to one eighth. And um, I'm going to go to my marks. And um, everybody everybody that I've ever said I use this, they, they don't know or they can't understand. And I've heard other creatives say the same thing. Is how do you see where you're going? You just have to look sideways on it. So you set it where you want it. You put your book in, or whatever you're punching, um, and I always bring it down a little bit so I can see how far down it's coming. See, when it comes down, you will be you can kind of see the tip a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down so maybe you can see what I'm doing, but you're not going to be able to see the side. But you'll be able to see, you'll, you might be able to see a little bit, but... I bring my book under and I'm looking sideways. I'm lining it up on the hole and I'm just pushing through. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm pushing through the spine and the fabric. Okay. So I push through spine and fabric right here. Spine and fabric. And then I'm going to push it all the way to the back. And to make sure I have it lined up, I pushed it down just a little bit. To make sure I have it lined up. And this is a small book. Nope. This will go back to 
roughly on the eight inch, one eight inch hole. On the bottom here, there's a setting. It'll go back to seven inches. So if your whatever you're using is no bigger than seven inches, you don't have to flip it around. But unfortunately, mine is. So I just have to flip it around and punch away. Now, if you have a multitude of things, you can set this down here. Um, let me show you here. You can set this. It slides back and forth. And you can set this to wherever you want so that you know that you're getting the same hole punch. Like if we were punching um, index cards, say, to make an index card um, file, and we wanted everything to be punched in the same spot, then we could set this um, setting here so that it would all be at the same. And um, that way we knew when we set the index cards in that it would all be, you know, we could set them against this little slide and that it would all be the same. So we're done with this and it just punches the holes right out the bottom. So you just slide them off into the trash, just like that. And we'll put that on the floor out of our way. Now, on this side here, you can see the fabric. Uh, you can see the little fabric pieces. And I'm just going to take my little embosser and make sure everything has come through. And uh, when we sew this, you know, of course, everything will be through there. And um, all these little threads, you know, I'll snip off um, here. And then those will get covered. This will get covered with um, the little threads there will get covered with um, something like lace, you know, something like that, so that they're not pulling. And this really long one right here, I'm just going to snip off. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there's a long one right there, too. I'm just going to snip it off so it doesn't get too big. Okay. So now let's flip it back over. Now remember, my fabric is is directional, so I want I want this little thing that looks like a tree going up, and I'm gonna raise you back up now. Make sure I got you back where I want you. Okay. So in the center, um, if you'll remember, I had this just covered with this brown fabric. Well, as I started playing with it, uh, you know, trying to decide how I wanted it. I decided I, I didn't like the way I liked this brown fabric looking against more brown fabric. So I found just a, um, a piece of tea dyed lace. And I thought, yeah, I, I kind of like that. So I laid this, you know, piece of tea dyed lace over it to kind of break up the brown. And I made it really wide so that it came out. Um, and I'll trim it off here at the bottom so that it's not so long. Um, and then I cut my fabric pieces to meet the size of the book. This one goes over here, and I should have pressed them off a little bit, but they'll be all right. Oh, one of the boys has come to say hello. Okay. So that's going to go there. And, um... I'm probably just going to take my brown ink and I'm going to ink here on the inside so that you don't see stark white. And here's the other one. And I haven't trimmed this one yet. Um, there it goes this way. And then this one. So any any areas that don't lay down all the way. See this right here? I don't want to see that, that brown. So I'm going to take my my ink and normally had I made this brown fabric wider you wouldn't see that that's my error um, but because I didn't do that I'm gonna do this so let's go over here and get my brown dauber and I think I'm gonna use oh where is it I'm gonna use gathered twigs And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to lightly go like this, just all the way down, 
and out and just just take it and I'm probably going to take it across here too that way I know that there's no white showing and I'm going to trim this off here I'm going to lift this up and trim it and I'm going to do the same over here let's see that needs glued down there so before I put down any any of my internal pieces I check my spine I check my fabrics I make sure everything's how I want it Because this is the last time I'm going to get to look at it, and I'm not going to get to fix anything once I get, once I get everything in there. So if I don't like it now, I'm probably not going to like it later. So I need to fix what I'm, what I'm, what I can fix. So this down here needs glued in a little bit more. Okay. And I could stencil in here if I wanted. I could add I could add some more paper, but I'm not going to add paper cuz I'm just going to cover it up with fabric in a minute. Um and the only reason I'm using ink on it um is just in case I miss an area. You know, I don't get an area covered all the way. I don't want that white showing. Then I'm really kind of doing more than I need to, but as far as I'm concerned, you can never ink too much. All right, let's put this up here out of my way. Okay, so I'm going to trim this little piece off here. Let's see here. Yeah, because my fabric is long enough, I don't need that to be that long. Let's see if we can cut it straight. Well, that'll be a first for me. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to glue this at the bottom here better. Where is it? All right, that's empty. Let's put the top back on our glue. Stinky. Okay. Now let's get this down here. And let's get some back here. Let's get that glued down. See, and this right here was what I noticed earlier. Um, I didn't get that covered when I pulled that over, and that was another one of my mistakes. So that will get taken care of. That's glued down good. That's That could use a little bit right there. But that's okay. I'll take care of those little errors once I get this all put in. I can cover it with paper in a pocket form, which I had planned on putting a pocket back there. I usually put a um, a side pocket um, or a just a big pocket, uh, you know, to keep things. Okay, that's glued down. All right, so let's make sure that this lines up well. Hmm. Now let's make sure we're going the right direction. Oop, I'm upside down. Okay, so. That's going to go that way, and that's going to go that way. Now, let me get something here and make sure my holes are lining up. Okay. 
And once I get my holes lined up, then I need to pin it in place. Okay, so that one's going to go there. And if that goes there, let me see if I've got a, I do, I've got a bulldog clip right here. I can put a bulldog clip right here on the bottom. Let's make sure that this side goes in. And make sure that piece sits in. Let's make sure this goes through. Okay, that one's through. Good. Huh, I don't have another bulldog clip. Here, we'll just use a we'll use a paper clip. Okay, so let's fold this up. Make sure I've got it where it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's put a paper clip on it. Before we glue it down, we've got to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Okay, now let's fold it up. Okay, that's, that's the shape of the spine right there. Okay, so let's undo one side. Let's put some glue on it. And then we'll clamp it back down. Okay. Getting your, if you have to re, uh, reinforce your spine like this, this is the most important thing to get glued in. Um, this is what holds everything. Okay, this is not something to be skimpy on your glue. Now, you have two options. You can do it this way and punch your holes through it. Or you, once you punch your holes through, you can put your signatures in, glue it to the spine, and then not punch through the book. Those are your two options. If you don't punch through the book... That's called a hidden spine. If you punch through the book and you do this, you have to make sure that they line up. Either way, you have to make sure that this is in there properly before, and it's dry, before you can do anything. Because once it's in, it's in. Okay? So just remember that. Okay. So let's get this in here and let's line up some, some holes here and I can see them a little bit. I know you guys can't, but I can. So right there's those and Right. Right there. Yeah, I can always glue this back on. Come here. There we go. Right there. Okay. That's in. So, I do think I want another bulldog clip on it. Ha, ah, here's one. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go on and put this lace back down. And then we're going to glue down our other fabric real quick. And then we're going to turn it over, or I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to let it dry. Okay, I'm off of there. Okay, now I'm going to take some a little bit of glue here, and it doesn't have to be a lot because I'm going to be putting, I'm just going to put a little bit across here because I'm going to be putting fabric down, so it doesn't have to be a lot. 
and I am taking the lace down here to the bottom and I'm gonna go on and cover this I wasn't planning on doing this side but we'll do this side just going to get this covered Come on, come on out. There you go. Come on. I think it's getting cold. It's getting cold outside here. And even though the heat's heat's on, I think my room might be getting cold. All right, let's get this down. Let's get our, I think it's this piece here. Let's get our fabric down. Take it all the way across. And anything that's too long, I can trim. Like that's a little bit too long. I think I've got some strings hanging off the bottom here. I'll trim. Yeah, I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to get this, get this on here. And then I'm going to turn it all upside down so it can... It can dry. Let this glue dry here a little bit. Get some glue down here. Get that fabric down there a little bit. Okay, I hope since the last time I got to see you, you guys have got to either start on your book or you've had fun playing with your papers or you've done something fun. If you're in the Northeast, I hope you're safe and well from any winter storms or snow or anything like that. All right, let's get our fabric down here. Come on, glue. You know what? I think I'm going to wipe that off. There we go. And let's get this piece down. Oops. You're supposed to be down. Why aren't you down, you silly goose? Okay. And I know you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of brown. It won't be by the time we're done. And that was why I put the lace to kind of break it up in there in the middle. But it won't be, because we're going to have some pockets, some big pockets. There'll be a pocket over on the edge. There'll be a pocket over here on this side. There. Oops. Yeah. Get over there. All right. I want you guys to settle in here. Come on, settle down. All right, now I want this to settle down before I do anything else, and then I'll come in and I'll do some tr any trimming I need to do. So I'm going to turn this upside down. Let's take our bulldog clips off, or our clamps and clips off, rather, whatever we've got on it here. Let's put that out of the way. I'm going to turn this upside down, get it out of our way. Oh my goodness, I got glue all over my hands. And I'm going to put it down here to dry real quick okay so let me show you what I've been doing here I did some prep work so I can show you all okay this was the signature that we were working in the one with the lace so I took that piece of um, cardstock you know with the little horse at the bottom and I fussy cut out the horse here he is I fussy cut him out, um, and I thought, I want to use him someplace. I, d I don't know where, but I wanted to use him. I'm thinking I want to use him on a tag. 
and here's the other horse. Here's the other one. And I want to make a pocket of him. And I know he's not straight. I did that on purpose because of the skyline. I really like that. I rounded the corners and so that I wouldn't inter interfere with the horse. I just gave him just a little bit of a nibble. Um, so I've got a pocket ready. Plus I have another uh, pocket that we made during our mass fold. So there's three pieces. Here's a bigger pocket from the same paper that can go this way. Or can go this way it depending on where we put it it's from the same paper and then from this same paper this is the top of it where the horses were I folded it in half and then I just folded the edges see that's all I did I folded one edge in this way in one edge that way and then I wrapped it around the front of the signature with that so this will be what you see when you first open it um, besides the lace that's what you'll see and then the lace will go over top of it so you'll move the lace and I'm actually thinking of moving the lace someplace else I mean this doily someplace else um, like I said it's a it's a process going through the your signatures and getting them how you want them but I know I want this there so then next, we're going to have this page, coffee dyed paper pages. And I'm thinking I want something on this page. I don't want just a blank page here. So that page, that paper that, um, and I'm going to show you where this came from. So let me cut this edge off here. So this is the back of the page that remember the horseshoes that were across the fence row this one this page this is that oh <laughs> it would go that way this is that this is the edge of it I want this right here um, as a side pocket so but I want to round these corners and I just want to do them just a little bit. There we go. And let's see here. I think I do want to ink this up here on the edges. Now where'd our ink go? What'd we do with our ink, you guys? Here it is. Okay. Here it is, just to take away the white from this paper. I don't like seeing that white edge when everything else is so dark. Okay, let's put that out of our way. All right. Let me scoot you guys over a little bit. And um, and we're going to put this right here. Okay, this will be the first thing that will already be in her book. So if... Um, when I mention in a video, um, a side, a side, something on the side, a side tuck, I need to keep an eye on what page I'm looking at here. Then she'll have a reference to it. There we go. Right there. Let's make sure it's straight. Right there. Okay. And it's still got a little, I like that. And then we've got these pages here, and probably on one of these pages is going to go one of these other things. And I was thinking this horse might end up just going, going in here. Or you know what? On that pocket. Maybe, maybe put him on this pocket. Put the pocket there. Maybe cut off the bottom. 
and put him right there. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, he kind of stands out a little bit. I think I'm going to do that. Let's cut him off. Sorry, horse. You're about ready to lose your, your grass you're standing in, dude. Let's do that. And we'll add him to our pocket. Get, don't stick to my fingers, you silly thing. Get over there. Let's do that. Yeah. I like that. That'll be something different. So as I told you, this is this is a gift for a friend. Um she she has no idea that it's coming. Um and I get so nervous when I make I make journals for people. Um I have made many. Um I'll, Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ink his feet. Darn. All right, we'll have to come back and ink up his feet. Yeah, because I need to... Come here, you little devil. I gotta trim out your feet. Shoot. That's where he was attached in the grass. All right, let's get that off of there. Well, we'll just have to re-glue it because I got to get this white off of there. There we go. And I think over here, um, I've made I've made several for people, you know. And I'm I'm always nervous that they're not going to like them. I was actually asked by someone to make one for a little girl, a child, and I've never made one for a child before. Oh, that was just. That, that just had me, and it was made with a little golden book. Um, I had a ball making it, but um, I've never made a book for a child before. And um, it was completely decorated, um, but it was very interactive, so the little girl could, okay, here. All right, that's where the grass met his leg. So the little girl could, um, you know, participate in the activities in it. There we go. All right, so let's put glue back on it. And, um, oh my goodness, you guys. I was a nervous wreck by the time I got that book done and got it to her. You know, I was so worried that the little girl wasn't going to like it. It was her granddaughter. And then I was worried that she wasn't going to like it, or the parents weren't going to like it, or the child wasn't going to like it. Oh my gosh, so much anxiety over that book. <laughs> but they all liked it. So, and the little girl just loves it. There. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, where's our... Let's get some glue wiped off here. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I took the glue right off my fingers. Thank you. There. Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's put this pocket in. Um, so much anxiety over one little book. But it was a lot of fun. And I told her I would be glad to make her another one. So, okay, so we're going to add this on this side. Okay, so now she has an example of a pocket in this, in this one. Okay, still that way. And then this is a multi-tiered pocket, so I don't think I want to cover that up, but... I don't know. And this is our center. Remember, this was our center page that we did. When we pulled down, um, I think I might put buttons there. Um, you know, that she can get a hold of a button and pull it down. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, this, I think I'm going to leave blank 
so that I can, um, whenever I do a, a video on how to use a, um, a magazine page, she'll, ha she'll have that to follow. Um, I think this multi-pocket, I think I want to put here toward the back. I think I want to put it on this page. And it's already inked and ready to go. Let's see, where's the top? This is the top. Okay. And then that little horse's pocket, I think I want to put that little horse pocket. I might put that over in the other one. Okay. I want this one here. And you'll notice I'm not putting this stuff close to this close to the spine. Okay, I'm leaving it away from the spine because I haven't sewed these in yet. Okay, so there's that one. All right, so now I want to show you something I've been doing, and I think I've decided I don't want that. I'm taking that out, just like I took out that brown piece of paper. Now, I want to show you something that I that I did. Let's put let's put a paper clip on this. Oh, that one's way too small. Here, we'll put this on that. Okay. So, I wanted to use there's the rest of that page that I was just showing you. I wanted to use this page. So, this page Remember, I told you, I just, I loved it. So, I was determined to use it. Here's the page. I was determined to use it in the book. So, that's the back of it, which is okay. I like it. I like the colors. So, I just folded it up, trimmed it, and that's going to be the front of this signature. So, then I thought, oh, I really like these horses too, but I've got to come up with something to do with them. Let me show you what I did. So, and the reason I had to go on and do it was because prep work is a must on this one. So, I cut, I took it out of the pack. I had to measure it to fit in the book. And then I cut it down. And then I found an envelope with a big window. See, that's all it is. It's just an envelope with a big window. And I covered from the edge of the window to the edge of the envelope with the page that was cut to fit the, the page in the book. Okay. If I were to take a piece of paper, see, it would fit if I wrapped it around these pages. See, here's the page. It would fit. So I covered the envelope and then I just collaged and I, and I left some of this brown show down the edge. And then I used just a little strip at the top. And you'll notice up here, there's, there's a little bit of white left. Well, I want to, there's my paper towel. I want to take our brown dauber here. And if you're going to ink around cellophane, you have to cover it. I want to take our brown dauber. And I want to ink that corner. And had I thought ahead, I'd have done it ahead of time. And then I can take my wet wipe and I can go in and wipe off any ink like that, that I don't want. Remember I told you this paper feels a little slippery? Look, I was able to take that ink and spread it on that paper. If that would be a regular soft paper, no way I could have done that. So I can go over here and I can, oh, I forgot to cover that. I got ink on it. Okay, I got that corner done. So let's take our wet wipe. We'll wipe off the paper. Wipe off our window. Okay, now let's dry our window. There we go. There we go. Oop. 
there. And that ink kind of took off that brightness of that color. And I could take do the same thing down here if I wanted. But I don't particularly want to. At least not right now. I had thought about it earlier, but I don't want it right now. Okay, so let me get the ink off of here. All right, let's get that over there. So then I took my scoreboard and I scored down where I wanted it to fold. Because remember, anytime you have wet wet paper, you cannot fold it. And what I did was I laid it, I just let it lay flat until it dried. I, I didn't even mess with it. I just put it under my um, my cutting mat and just let it dry for a couple of hours. And then I came back and I put it on my scoreboard and I scored where I wanted it to fold. And there's my score line. You can see you can see the line from it. And then I folded it. And um, use a use a bone folder. Go over it. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay. Now the edges still need trimmed because they're a little wiggly. You can see they're still a little wiggly through here. So I'm going to take my my trimmer now. And I'm going to get the edges straightened up, or try anyhow. Let's see. Let's see how well we can do that with this. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get it right there. Okay, if we go on and do it that way. Yeah, see, I can't see it that way. I want it right there. Come on, get off of there. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it didn't cut all the way through. Okay. Well, we'll use what it did cut as our guide then. Okay, right here. Oops, I just bumped you, didn't I? Let me raise you up here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm trimming this paper down. So it's straight. Or I'm trying anyhow. Let's see if I can hold it still here. I think I need a sharper blade in it. In my trimmer. Yeah, I need a sharper blade because... I think mine's mine's dead. So I'll have to change my blade. So we'll do it that way. We'll just do it that way. Okay. And because everything's white, we're gonna do it this way. Now on the inside, what I want to do um, is I'm going to put, and I'm going to show you, I want to put a, hold on here, I'm one of these people, I can't talk and work at the same time. <laughs> okay, so it's going to wrap around this piece of paper like this, okay? So you could very easily trim this piece of paper and have a top loading pocket, a side loading pocket on this on this side if you wanted, easy peasy. Over here, okay, I don't need this. Over here, I am gonna trim the paper, but over here, I'm gonna put on the inside a little pocket across the bottom here to catch my tag so that when my tag comes in, it doesn't fall to the bottom. 
and then I'm going to make this a side loader. How about that? So there's going to be across here. So when my tag goes in, it slides right into a pocket. And then this is going to be a side pocket. Okay. So we're going to mark where I want to cut this paper off. So we're going to cut it off there. And we're going to cut it off here. And we're going to do it the old-fashioned way since I need a new blade. Okay. And Lord help us, I'm using scissors. Let's, let's see how well it works. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, and we're going to use that piece right there. There we go. We're going to use that piece. That's yeah, not perfect, but that's okay. To put across here. So, you need to decide. I want it right below this window, right there. So, I need to cut it off right there. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to make a big tag with, with a picture at the top, you could do that. Um, but I wanted a double, something double here. So I'm going to put this, let me, let me get it placed where I want it. I want that. Let me, where's my little thing here? Here it is. I want this. Scoot it over and get it straight. Okay, I want it right there. Gotcha. I want it right there. So I'm going to use my pencil to mark, because I'm not going to see this, that that's where I want it. Okay. So, just like any other little pocket, it's going to go just like this. Okay. Now, let's put this back in our spot. There we go. Just like that. Now, I didn't put it down really tight because I want to be up I want my um my tag to be able to slide into it. Okay. And then I'm gonna let it dry for a minute before I close my envelope back up. Let's clean that off because I got stuff all over it. Okay. Oh for goodness sakes, I just ruined my my thing. Oh, I'm telling you what, I am having a time with glue today. Where did it go? Here it is. That's well, pretty bad when you have to glue your glue pin. All right, let's put this back together. There we go. All right, let's wipe this off while we're waiting. All right, I think that's set. Yeah, I'm going to have to glue that. Okay, so for here... For down here, I'm going to punch my punch my slot, my thumb slot, right about here. Mm. There we go. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Now, let's get this lined up here. Now, why is that, why is that so crooked? Why is that so crooked? I don't know, but let's trim it because it is going to drive me insane.
All right. Now we'll make this other side. There, that's better. We'll make this side a top loading pocket. So we will or you know what I have a better idea let's come back to that I have a better idea for that side yeah we're gonna do all kinds of stuff over there okay so for here let's let's make our tag so let's set that aside to finish drying let's move our thing now do you remember on the cover Where's our cover at here? Let me find it. Here. Here. In there. Um, let's see if the page that I want to use is long enough. If it's going to be long enough here. Okay, I haven't glued anything down yet, so let's see. Because that's the one I want to use right there. And I want to cut that off. So it's going to have to go like that. And it might be a little bit short. So we're going to have to do something with the top of it. Or we could use those. Or we could just use those and do a matching one. Let's see how if those work. Let's see if those work. Again, it, they're a little short. Where's our where's our pocket at? Oh, it's there. So our pocket comes up right to there. So that would be our tag in the window versus that in the window. I think I like that better in the window. Or we could do that in the window. We could even scoot it over and pick up that. Hmm, I kind of like that. Or we could do this little horse who's, you all know what I'm going to say, don't you? I know you do. Okay. Let's cut these guys out here. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of trimming, I think. We're going to figure it out, though. Okay. Let's put that let's put that back in here so we don't lose those. Okay. Let me get a let me get a new blade, you guys. Oh wait, let's see if I have one before we do that. I want to show you guys how easy it is to change them. Hmm. Well, I thought I had one, but I guess I don't. Okay, so I'm going to pause and grab a blade, and I will be right back. Okay, so here's how I change my blades. Your blades come like this, okay? And they have a little plastic cover that goes over the blade. See that little plastic cover? Let me bring you down so you can watch how I do it. There. It's got a little plastic cover on it. So, I use... I don't want to touch my blade here. So, I use my uh, bone folder. And right here, where it sticks through, right there. You could use your finger if you wanted, but I'm not going to. I just take my bone folder and you pull this apart and then I just touch it and it just pops out. Now with mine, I have that little guitar string. Now I could play you a tune. 
So I have to be really careful that I don't break that. Okay. So then on this, you just pop the plastic piece off. See, you just plop off the plastic piece. I put the plastic piece back on the one that I'm going to throw away because it's still sharp enough to cut your finger. It's just not sharp enough to cut paper. And then I put this in the trash. Okay. Now for mine, to put it back on, you line it up so that this is going the way of your cutter. Let me lift you up here. And then you, again, I have to be careful because of my guitar string. You pull the plastic apart and it just pops in. But I have to make sure my guitar string doesn't get caught. There you go. Oop, I didn't get it down all the way. And you'll know if it's not down all the way because you won't hear it snap. There. Now once you get it down... Oops, I still don't have it down. Come on, string, move. Here we go. There. There. Is there are little grooves that it rides against. There. Much better. Okay. Now. Let's line those up there. I think I have the wrong one on here. But yeah, I think I have the wrong one. This one, this one goes to my smaller one. So, let me get the bigger one. And we'll do this all over again. Okay. Let's try this again. Let me scoot it up here a little bit. Okay, cutter change, paper cut. Now, let's let's decide here. I think I like this one. And let's see what scraps we have here that we could use, or we could even put, ah, here we have this, which is, I think, the back of this paper, isn't it? Yes, it is. We could put, make a topper on this, or we could add a bottom to it. Let me lift you guys back up now that I've got my thing changed. And I apologize if this video was going a little long here. Um, let's cut a little piece off this and we'll decide here real quick. And I think this is going to have to go into three, unfortunately. That was not my plan. All right. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll give it a top. So, let's see, how, where did it go? How big do we need to give it? Like right there. There, 
Where's our pencil? And we'll mark it right, right across there. Okay. I think like that. Let's see here. That's how I want it to go like that. Okay, so let's glue this so it can dry, and then we can do any trimming that we need to do on the edges. All right, so we'll let this dry really well. I am learning this plastic. Oh, no, I like this other paper this way. Now let me make sure my saddles are going the right way. I am learning this plastic paper does not dry very quick. Right like that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to call it a day, you guys. Um... I do apologize for taking so long today. I was hoping to get more done than we did, but I really wanted to show you this envelope that I had created. There we go. So when this is dry, I'll get it finished and have it ready for you. And um, thank you for visiting me today at the Ladybug Journals. And um. In case you're new to our channel and just visiting, the Ladybug Journals has a hmm. I stopped mid-sentence, didn't I? <laughs> oh my gosh. We have a challenge going um, through um, through March to um, so that we can get um, 300, 300 subscribers to our channel. And uh, so if you haven't uh, liked or subscribed to our channel, I invite you to do so. Uh, that way, a uh, couple of things happen. You get um, notification whenever we upload new videos. And you get to hear me make bloopers like that all the time. Um, but you also help help achieve that goal that we have set. And, um, and for that, I will be so grateful. And for those of you that have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate you so very much. Um, so you guys know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe uh, button. And um, until I see you again, bye for now.